I hope I see some birds today. I think I will. Zero degrees. It's going up to 13 degrees Celsius and sunny. And it's already sunny. And there's still lots of snow on the ground, but the ponds are opening up. And I'm sure there will be birds. I really don't care if there's birds or animals. I'm just glad to get out. Oh my god, winter sucked this year. But let's see what happens. Still on the highway, still on the pavement. About to hit the old rail bed pretty soon. And uh, I hope I see something with four legs, but if not, that's okay. On the rail bed, ready to go, looking for open water. What do I come across? Open water. It's actually not, it's frozen a little bit. It was cold last night, but it is going up today. It's warming up. I hear birds. I don't see any, but I'm going to photograph that snowy beaver house over there because that just looks so nice. And um, yeah, let's see what that looks like. I just love it when things work out. I'm taking a picture of the uh, beaver house and then geese fly by right before I'm about to hit the shutter. I don't even know they're there and then they just fly by in the frame and I'm like, yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, last year's video. I was on the same rail bed. I'll put a link in, in the video somewhere. And uh, I was taking pictures of blue herons. Oh no, I was taking a picture of Sandhill Crane and a blue heron flew by in the background. I was like, what the hell? Just beautiful. Dark, dark water. I'm going to shoot that little, um, it's not little, that birch tree against the dark blue of the ice. Because there's snow on it and it's very pretty. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, let's keep going down the rail bed and see what else we can get. Don't know why I'm singing everything today. You know you're in a good mood when... Well, I'm at the next pond. I didn't think it would be on the trail and I didn't think I'd be driving through it. Pretty challenging. I got these uh, black, uh, what are those, common grackles? Or rusty black bird. I don't know. I'm going to look those up. But anyways, super dark, dark bird. And there's snow on the ground. So it's very hard for your camera to, to get that detail and get that, um, that contrast. So uh, spot meter the bird is my tip. That's what I'm doing. Um, I have my Nikon set up so that um, the... Uh, the function button that's inside of the grip, which I would be pressing with my middle finger, I have that set up to be just a quick spot meter. You can do that in your menu. And just, you focus, I got that one focus spot right on the bird, which is also my spot meter, and I just spot meter that dark bird, hit the trigger, camera automatically adjusts to that, you know, that dark plumage that they got. And, um, it's working out. The snow's a little bit hot, like it's a little bit bright, but I am trying to shoot the bird, not the snow after all. So it's not too bad, though. I'll zoom into a shot so you can see. But, yeah, you're not always going to get, like, you know, the chickadees in the trees and stuff. Not too bad. These dark birds against the white snow. Tough, 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 tough. There shouldn't even be snow right now. I've actually never photographed that bird against snow. That's weird, because we're just having the weirdest year, but... Spot meter saves the day!
Well guys, that's it for me. Pretty much at the end of my trail here. I'm gonna hit the road. Completely frozen over, so. It's a really weird year um, in Northern Ontario. I don't know how it's been where you guys are, if it's been pretty uh, normal. Um, you guys are getting normal seasonal weather or if you're a little below freezing or what still. I'm here, we're below freezing at night. We're just above freezing during the day and, and overall the uh, average temperature has been below average. So the average temperature is below average. But uh, it is what it is. Can't control mother nature. She's, uh, she's a little wicked this year. I don't know if she's pissed off or what, but it is what it is and I am out I'm ready to go thanks for watching um, I got a link to a few videos um, from the previous years where I drove this same trail except there wasn't any snow on the ground I'll link those in the description uh, give me a thumbs up sorry I've been away so long I've just I've been hibernating and uh, when I'm back ready to go I'm not gonna let fishing get in the way of my photography videos anymore I'm gonna separate them. Them. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, prioritize myself. That's what I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. My mumbly, unscripted rambling, and um, I hope you guys come back. I really do. And take care.